Hello there. This is Paul Michael Bales, and tonight I want to read to you a chapter from this book called Idols Defrauded and Dominion Over the Animal Kingdom. It's quite a rare book. You probably would not be able to find it in digital form. I never better. I could never find it, but beautiful book. Beautiful. I'm glad I brought it when I saw it. Kind of brought it from the title. I like the title. What a very, very beautiful title. All right. Love is the fulfilling of the law. A godly life of noble deeds, a life of love, of peace and prayer. This is the life. That ever succeeds, and blesses the worker everywhere. The law of God, which is immutable, cannot be fulfilled in our lives till we love all, all men, all animals, all things. Love is power. Love is strength. Love is life. Love is a messenger of light. It is a vital force and will endure when all else fails. When love fills every atom of our being, we will attract, call forth love from all. Even animals will love us instead of fearing us. If every home was filled with love, there'd be better fathers. Better mothers and a thousand times better children. It is love that all the world is wanting. They are hungering and thirsting after love. If man loved his brother man, he would not defraud or injure him. If man loved his wife, he would be true to her. If the wife loved her husband, she would be faithful to him. If parents loved their children, they would hold them in love. And if children loved their parents, they would love to be held and feel no restraint. If man loved his sister, he would never wrong her, and become a partner in a sin where she alone is called the guilty one. If woman loved her sister, she would never wrong her in thought, word, or act. The lack of love has made the world what it is today: half living in luxury, the other half living in poverty. Love is strong as death. Love worketh no ill. Love your enemies. Oh, no man anything but love. If we only knew that we owed no man anything but love, there be no state prisons or insane asylums. There would be no need of them. There would be no murders, no hangmen, no thieves, no unholy and unlawful desires. Love is purity, and purity of thought brings purity of action. We need more love for the whole world, and how hungry souls are for love. The master said, "If your son ask bread, will you give him a stone?" When poor souls come, almost broken-hearted with burdens, grievous to the be born, and whoever overcame burdens but fought theirs were the hardest. Do not tell them you have what you deserve. You sold it. Take them in strong arms of love. Love them back to health and peace. Tell them how to cultivate love, to be love. Love is the chief cornerstone. It sweeps everything out of its way. Nothing can stand before it. It is the holy fire burning on the altar of truth, consuming all error. 
and leaving us purified by the light, the white light of understanding. Truly, it is master of all. We can cultivate love by loving, by thinking love to everyone we meet. This will call forth love in return. To say I love you to all will cost you an effort, having lived in the fort of enemies so long, but it will change them into friends, and it's worth trying. The wise men ask, what language did Christ speak? They cavil, argue, search, and little prove. O oh, sages, leave your Syriac and your Greek. Each heart contains the knowledge that you seek. Christ spoke the universal language, love. The world has made the mistake and calls it by another name. Love is divine, is holy and true to its love. There is a marked difference between falling in love and loving. If a man falls in love, he will sacrifice her whom he thinks he loves for himself. But if he truly loves, he will sacrifice himself for her. When we are filled and thrilled with love, no one can work us an injury. Love is a protecting power, and the wrong that was intended for us will fall powerless by our side. Hurt feelings, when we think someone has done us a wrong, will cause the body to contract and feel withered within. But if the injury comes when you are filled with love, your body will broaden out, expand, and you will actually seem to grow. Nothing moves you. Man is crowned king, and his first conquest is over himself. Then life will not be a hurry and bustle, and a striving to see how much you can gain, but rather how much you can do, how well you can live. Make your life grand and successful by setting your mark for the highest and being true to yourself. Some feet will tread all heights now unattained. Why not thine own? Press on, achieve, achieve. Keep my sayings, Christ said. Identify them with yourself by use until you become one with them. And many things will be revealed to you that you thought were hidden. And only known to adepts, mystics or advanced teachers. You have the same truth that all have had to work with. And the very desire and earnestness that you have shown proves it is for you. You are one with the infinite. Think of what we are and what we might be if we would see ourselves in the light of truth, divine, deathless, immortal. When we consider now the great forever, we will work to this end and not for some far away future existence. If it has been an endless past, it must be an endless future, and all things will unfold to you as fast as you are ready to receive them. For the spirit of truth teaches us all things. It will bring all things to our remembrance and light up the pathway in our ongoing step by step. If we but take that step with firmness, holding to the words, I know.
the next will be shown us. Assert your divinity, and true to the law of your being, all things shall be revealed to you. By training yourself and believing your own words, you can prove all things for yourself, the only proof you can have. When you understand that everything has life, you will speak to that life which is intelligent or it would not be life. You will not abuse a machine because it will not run good, or a fire because it will not burn quickly, or a hundred other things that you do every day blaming everything because it does not go right when it is yourself that don't go right. Everything follows your example and goes right when you do. Freedom from within brings freedom from without. How many times have you condemned some parts of your body, such as my old head, my lungs are no account, my miserable liver, it don't act at all. I'm sure I do not see how they should after your condemnation of them. Now suppose you change around and bless every part of your body. Bless everything you eat, everything you touch. Bless everything you come in contact with and see what a difference it makes in your life. Blessings unfold you and build your character. When you see a truly gigantic and noble nature, you will hear only blessings and praise. Blessings beget blessings. Love begets love. And goodness only receives goodness. Like attracting, producing, begetting and receiving the same. Then speak good and the good will respond. Bring out your love power, the God power of yourself, and behold, what a power you have when you live in unity with the creation and creator of the universe. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright for the end of that man is peace. Speak peace to yourself, to animals, insects, and to everything in the universe. Your own will return and also accomplish that whereunto you sent it. Love much and regulate it there, and the outside world will take on the harmony of the inside universe. The end. It's the end of that chapter. I hope you enjoyed. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful chapter. Beautiful. I enjoyed reading it. It's filled me with love and bliss reading it. And I hope it's filled you with love and bliss hearing it. God bless you all. I love you.
I love you. Mwah. God bless. Have a lovely night. Peace and love. 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 Love.